Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories is playable with PCSX2 within RetroArch. Now, like Liberty City Stories, I believe this game is also fairly CPU dependent, or CPU heavy. So I don't think it's going to play that great. But like Liberty City Stories, it's also available on PSP, and it plays a lot better. <laughs> on PSP. Only downside is, with that, you have lower, a lower resolution, the graphics are slightly worse, and you are missing two buttons. Actually no, you're missing one, two, four buttons. Yeah, because you can't click in a stick. But you know, that's a fair trade-off. The game was made for PSP to begin with, and later ported to PS2. Because everything was ported to the PS2. I will admit, everything does look a lot better. For duty, sir. But this might not be so bad after all. <laughs> relax, relax. Relax, relax. Listen, if plans change... Interesting. If this works, then I'm very confused. It does seem like it works. I'm mostly confused as to... Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's ACDC, I'm pretty sure. I'm just confused as to why this works, but Liberty City Stories doesn't. This came came out much later. I suppose when a game came out, it doesn't really matter when it comes to emulation. There's so many different factors to it. It's just weird, I find. Yeah. Actually, that's where I want to be. Yeah, I meant to do that. Ooh. I can't remember what the button is to handbrake. Oh, it's R1. Of course. Of course. To be fair though, you have access to a lot of different games, or GTA games on PS2. You've got uh, Liberty City, oh, not Liberty City, my bad. You've got GTA 3, Ugh. GTA... Uh, God, I got thrown off. You've got GTA 3, GTA Vice City, San Andreas, and then Vice City Stories. Not bad. There's also, of course, Liberty City Stories, but, you know, that don't work, sadly. There might be one of the things you can enable within the core options that would cause it to actually work, but I usually don't really mess around with them too much, purely because I like to see how games can perform straight out the box. Yeah, in quotes. Because RetroArch isn't a plug-and-play sort of type of software. It technically is if you know what you're doing, but if you literally just downloaded and installed it, quite a lot of stuff would not work. Basically, things that would require a BIOS. <laughs> so, basically, um, CD-based systems just would fail to function. But, you know, getting them set up correctly isn't necessarily difficult, it's just time-consuming. Yeah! Wow, I'm very surprised. Hmm. Just the fact the game works as good as it does... Because I was going into this expecting it to be another Liberty City. And obviously, Liberty City was not great <laughs> performance. Like, it constantly crapped the bed. Oh, uh, right. L2 and R2 to scroll through weapons. I'm pretty sure that was the D-pad. Oh, the deep. Really? You used the D-pad? Oh, uh, you didn't have access to camera controls. I haven't really played these on PS2, I'll be honest. I have them, but I played them mostly on the PSP, because it was what I had a lot of time spent on. And, you know, it was one of those things I always had handy. So if I was away from home, I'd usually be playing the PSP. I cheated a lot in Vice City Stories, just so I could get all the businesses and max them out into skyscrapers straight away. I don't think I've actually played any of the GTA games le whoops, legitimately, now that I think about it. I don't think so. I had a lot of fun just playing San Andreas on a quad bike and flying through the city. Just, you know, that was fun. Just one of those things you do when you're young. But I, I don't think I ever played them legit because I I found them too hard, so it was easy to just cheat. I think that's probably the same sentiment most people have had, to be fair. I'm gonna say, isn't there a ramp? Yeah, there it is. Go! 
We oh, that wasn't even close. What? <laughs> what happened? But yeah, I'm um, very impressed. It seems like a completely different game. It's surprising. Jeez. Where the hell's the thing? That's here. It really doesn't like when you switch to uh, looking behind you. Oh, it seems it's fine now. I don't know where I'm going. Wee! Oh god. I'm playing a risky game here. Oh god. Oh dear. I'm kind of fine. Hell yeah. Meant to do that. Not bad. Is it going to play that again? No. I was waiting for the no another <laughs> weather report. Hot oh, damn. Yeah, there's nothing really else to say, honestly. Just that the game performs really well, honestly. Very little dips. The only time it dips is when you look behind you. Constantly. Get into Phil's truck. Come on then, Phil. To his old place. I remember where this is. Whoops. I think I'll probably just do this mission. I just want to see if the game's going to crap itself, but it seems alright. Mm -hmm. I've been having trouble with them Cholo boys. I don't have any guns. What the fuck is this? Oh, they do have a gun. Yeah, it's kind of weird that we are doing it. I mean, we got it. Yeah, I'm a pro. I'm also an army boy. Oh, there's more of them. Keep forgetting it doesn't auto switch targets. Damn. Blow off his head. Hmm. Take the money back to Martinez. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, the Cholo Saber. I remember I liked the sound of this car. Oh no, it's one of those that sounded nice. I guess I'll finish this mission too. Oh look at me, I'm cleaning out the game. Also, it's a good stress test. The more I can travel. I just want to see if I can get it or bring the game to its knees. But it seems nothing is going to do that. Which is a good thing. But if you try and stress test something and it doesn't fall apart, that's a good sign. Oh dear. I'm pretty sure that was a copper, and I just gave him like a love tap. He didn't care! For once. They normally really do not like when you do that. Alright, cool. How do I switch radio stations? Oh no! I press the wrong button too. How do you switch? Oh, L L1. Oh, of course. I never would have guessed that. I was trying the the D-pad because I thought that would have worked. Because I think that's what it is on um, the PSP. Again, because you have limited buttons by comparison. All right, well there we go. That's another mission down. Does that mean I'm gonna get like a hundred dollars? A whole lot of money. Oh god, I can't control this for... Crap. Hooray! 100 bucks. Not bad. Yeah! Oh, it's only circle you can use to shoot. Okay. Well, there we go. Honestly, it's been... Basically perfect. It kind of screwed itself when there was the weather report going on and I kept switching the camera to be behind me, but aside from that, perfectly fine. Hmm, not bad. So yeah, I'd have to say that Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories is playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions to games you want to see, and until next time, take care.